Okay, so I'm just going to say a few words about Sweden Gate. Um, it's quite silly. It's totally incredibly stupid. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm actually in the middle of a workout, but uh, I got annoyed and I need to say a few words, <laughs> even though it's silly. Okay, Sweden Gate. You don't get fed or rather your kids will not get fed in their friend's house in Sweden. That's that's what they're saying. Okay, so <clears throat> and they are throwing racism and stuff in, into this whole mess. So um, it's been trending on the Twitter and the social media, I believe. So if you didn't know, um, the uh, Sweden Gate is People complaining, people from other countries complaining about when their kids visit other families and uh, that family have dinner and uh, on some occasions uh, the visiting kid uh, uh, have been told to stay in the room, stay in the friend's room or something like that. Uh, in other words, uh, that, that kid has not been invited to dinner. Um, <laughs> listen, this is a good example of when you don't even try to understand other cultures, okay? So uh, th this is something that happens in Scandinavia. Now I'm, I'm Norwegian, so, but it's, you know, Sweden and Norway, it's very much the same. And I remember when I grew up in the 70s and 80s, and if I visited someone we were you know playing with lego or something uh, i would sometimes be asked uh, at dinner time either to to go home or i i might uh, I, I sometimes i would be asked to stay in the room and i would not be invited to dinner i would say that most often i would be invited to dinner at that family uh, of course um now uh, I can't remember if my kids have been not have not been invited to dinner when they've been at friends' houses. I think I honestly don't know. I believe it is not as common anymore. Um, now this has not anything to do with racism, by the way. Uh, there are people actually saying that the Swedes are racist because. Um, <laughs> if their kid is playing with a colored kid, that colored kid will not be invited to dinner. Uh, it's incredibly stupid to say something like that. Sweden and Norway, you know, Scandinavia, we're among the least racist countries on the planet, right? And <laughs> this has nothing, nothing to do with racism or anything like that. It's a cultural thing. So it has to do with actually respect for other families. So uh, traditionally you would be out playing and at night it gets dark up here in Scandinavia. So you would then uh, have to go home and the other parents would know that your parents want you to go home at a certain time. You know, dinner time would be, you know, maybe around five. Uh, in the afternoon uh, and, and also they don't want to spoil your appetite. I can, I can remember that uh, from my childhood. That was a big thing. You, you don't want to spoil your appetite because you know your, your, your dinner will be waiting and you have to eat your vegetables and all that you know. So <laughs> it, it, it's I mean and another thing <laughs> is that these people are complaining now because of the fact that if you are invited to a party, it's expected that you bring, if you drink alcohol, that you bring uh, your own um, liquor. Uh, and that's because it's extremely expensive in Norway and, and more expensive in Norway than Sweden, actually. But anyway, um, you know, it is extremely expensive. So... You, you can't expect the host to pay for 
uh, you know, wine and whiskey and vodka and so on for all the guests. Uh, you, you will be expected to bring that uh, to the party. Um, so it has to do with different cultures. Um, it has nothing, nothing to do with racism. Uh, I, I mean, these people are even saying, as far as I can tell, they are saying that this happens to white, white I, I hate those terms, white kids as well. Uh, so obviously it's, you know, not, it's not racism. It's just a, a difference in cultures. And uh, I, on a personal note, I would say that uh, I, I think that if, uh, you know, I, I can tell you that whenever someone has visited my kids and they've been in, in our house, they've always been asked if they want dinner but sometimes we have called up their parents and asked you know is that okay or uh, you want us to 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 send to send him home for dinner or you know uh, we just apply some common sense so sweden gate is yeah I'm, i've been speaking for a few minutes about this already it is one of the most stupid um, things out there now uh, but um, I think there are people they, they want to be offended and they will dig until they find something that they can um, be offended by um, and I actually saw another YouTube video where they had uh, uh, found uh, another criticism of Swedish culture uh, let me just say something about Swedish culture and Sweden in general. It is a wonderful country. Swedish people are wonderful people. I mean, it's... <laughs> don't come picking on Sweden. I mean, it's just silly. Um, but the thing um, that this... I, I don't know, maybe it was someone trolling. Uh, I don't know. Let's hope it was. Because it makes me question if these people paid any attention at school or rather what the schools are teaching kids uh, these days in especially in other countries um, you know in Sweden at midsummer they dance around the maistang the, the pole with flowers on it and someone said that it's terrible because uh, that's it comes from the time when they would hang slaves from the gallows and I, I'm like no <laughs> no no it doesn't <laughs> it's like let's just hope that person was trolling because that's I don't know where they get these ideas but um, you know I don't know um, and also they were so also these people they said that well you have ice cream named with the n word no they don't no no <laughs> um yeah we have ice cream with nougat you know i, I don't know if i pronounced that correctly but the, the kind of chocolate uh, n o u g a t it's a sort of chocolate you know and, and you get ice cream with that in it and Hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so if you live in Sweden or Norway and your kid is visiting another family, it might happen, even though it was more common when I grew up in the 70s and 80s, but still I think it, it might happen that uh, your kid is asked, uh, is not asked to join them at the table. Um, it's it's not I think it's a bit cheap to be honest with you to do that but I, I know where it's coming from it has to do with tradition it has to do with uh, an idea that well we we don't want to ruin the kids appetite because dinner will be waiting at their home and, and all that uh, it, to say that it has something to do with in hospital now what's the word that 
Swedish people are not uh, hospitable people. That's nonsense. Uh, and also claiming that it has something to do with racism. That's, it's, it's pure nonsense. It's, I, yeah. Okay, I'll get uh, <coughs> continue with the workout and um, I hope you enjoyed this little, little rant.